Okay, um, here is a fun, simple math card effect that takes advantage of prime numbers and the special properties that they have. So as you can see here, I have a seven cards, which is a prime number. So when you go to perform this, what I'll show you here will work for any prime number of cards. So keep that in mind. Now, I won't give you the whole secret yet, but I will at the end, okay? So now, with this packet of seven cards, uh, you as the spectator are free to choose any number between, let's say, one and six. Seven's kind of boring, because that's how many cards there are. So any number between one and six. So let's say you choose three, which would be fine. So this is how it works. You take the top card and you move it to the bottom. You do that three times, and then you flip the next card face up, and then repeat that. So you go one, two, three, flip that face up. One, two, three, flip that face up. One, two, three, flip that face up. One, two, three, 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 face up. Uh, what's going on here? Wait, wait, uh, okay, how did that happen? Okay, so how does this work? Well, I have a double-sided card. You don't need to have a double-sided card for this, just to point that out. <laughs> I just happened to have one, so I thought I'd make use of it. Okay, so how this works is you need to have, in fact, let me just bring a, a non-double back card here. You need to have a prime number of cards, okay? So seven, 11, I wouldn't go much beyond 13 because it can just take too long. Um, so if you have a prime number of cards, what will happen with this little procedure is if you note or are aware of the identity of the top card, then when you do this, move the top cards one at a time to the bottom and then flip face up the next one and repeat that the final card to be flipped face up, in some sense, like the lone survivor, will be the original top card of the packet. So there you go. And so um, what a person could do is, well, you can do a number of things, but you could just make note of that. You could even have a written prediction off to the side. That would be just fine. Uh, you could even do something like write happy birthday here if it's for um, somebody on their birthday and you hope to surprise them some kind of personal note that would be great uh, but that's the secret so you just need um, a prime number of cards uh, you need to be aware of the identity of this one or have a special one there that you'll reveal and then you just go through this procedure so any number between one and one less than the prime number of cards you have, this procedure will always lead to a revelation of the original top card as the final one to be flipped up. So anyway, I thought I'd share this with you on my simple math magic playlist. And I encourage you to take a look at other videos on the Absolute Math Magic channel.